head that this was going to go down. Yeah. Anyway, so I, every step of the way, I gave Melissa a heads up. I let her know everything. I know I, you did. I tried, you know, whatever I knew, I would tell her. She knew this a thousand percent. Percent. When it came to that moment, she flipped on me. On Vermont. When it out. came to Vermont. When it came to Vermont. Go ahead. All she had to do was answer yes or no. Am I telling the truth? And she kept wouldn't do the it. Question. That's right. And yes or no takes two seconds. She would flip it. You're coming at me hard. I can't think right now. I blah, blah, blah. And I, I was getting enraged because I'm like, I fucking tried to protect you. And now yep. you're flipping this on me when you know the truth. You're disgusting human disgusting. being. So I, I had brought up how I'm like, look at how you lie with a lie. straight face. You yeah. lie. I go, when Andy Cohen asked you on Watch What Happens Live, if you had a nose job, you with a straight face told him it was contour. And yeah. I go, look, that's how easy it is for you to lie. And so in the middle of all that, I was like, you and your four fucking nose jobs. Yeah. I was so <laughs> angry. I was talking that was about so good. That was so good. I was talking about how she could lie with a straight how face. How she could lie. Not like about the nose jobs. Doing, it's this, how she lies. Right. How she lies. How she lies in the, it wasn't about the nose jobs at all. That was no. evident to everyone. It was more about the way you do it with a straight face, like you're doing right now and you won't tell the truth. And the, uh, why don't I deserve the truth? After everything, yeah. I've had your back on everything, you know, yeah. like her and I had talked about everything and she just flipped on me because I don't know if she was just jealous. She was trying to put a wedge between Teresa and I, I don't know what happened with her, but even after the fight with, um, what's her face? Um, the rage, um, rage on my ass girl. I forget her name. Oh I, yeah. Even oh that, God. Yeah. She I, would yeah. normally, if I told her that happened because that girl was coming at me for a while, right? if I, and a lot of that, you know, wasn't in there either, but if I told Melissa that before she would have my back and be like, Oh my God, I can't believe she did. You know? And instead when I told her on camera, I and I don't remember if it aired or not, but she looked at me all strange and she was like, Jacqueline, why would you do that? Like that's so really, oh my God. And, and I was like, what is she doing? What is happening? Like, I just was so taken aback. Like, I didn't understand why all of a sudden she's flipping on me. And why is she acting like this? Like, I didn't get it. And well, I was now we know. Hurt. Now we know. Yeah. Now we I know. I was very hurt by it. Meanwhile, I just and, walked uh, back into the room because I had my, and they're not supposed to have nuts. I had my cashews open. The, my Scarlet ate the rest of my cashews. But go ahead. Oh, no. I have to report it's that to right. Not I know they're not, they're not supposed Keep to have those it, nuts but, away. I know I had it. There was, thank God there was only, I don't see anyone choking. I think they're all okay. But all right, no, because I wanted to clear and, that and up, Jack. Teresa, oh, wait, wait, one more thing. Go ahead, so Teresa. Even after, so even after I, so now, after I told Melissa what had happened with Rage Girl, she um, she turned on me, right? Teresa, if you watch, when I'm fighting with, I told her like, oh, you said you wanted to clean house, Teresa. You forgot to take the garbage out. And I'm pointing, yeah. Teresa's laughing through all of it. When 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 the girl left, um, Teresa and I were laughing. We, we got in the same car together to go back to the house. We were fine right. that night. We left even after the, you know, Robin, that's her name. Even Robin. after the Robin thing, yeah, she, um, even after that, she was friendly with me. She was friendly with me after that. Yep, yep, unbelievable. And, and so then the next day, she's all of a sudden turned on me too. And I'm like, did Melissa get in her head? Like, what did she yeah. say to Teresa to get Teresa yep. to, to turn on me? Or did Teresa really hate me this whole time? Like, what is the truth? Like, what is she saying in her head to like right. turn her against me or... Was Melissa telling the truth that Melissa, Teresa hated me? Well, I think time? it like, was a pact. I think even with me, with Teresa, it was a pact that Teresa made with them. And I'm going to tell you why, Jack, and then we're, we're going to, and then I want your, your input on this. When um, Teresa wore the green pageant dress that year when I was under contract, okay? And that year when I ran into all you guys at Portobello and then Kathy and Melissa they came to me, my mother, Teresa, saying she wants to, because you none of you were talking to Teresa at the time. So yeah. after that, after the pageant dress, when everybody was going at her on the reunion, except for me, I was there as her friend. I, Me and her, like, I found out she was talking shit behind my back, all that kind of stuff. I believe, and I told David this, and I tell the, everyone this, that the resentment that Teresa had towards them since then, and she had to make a pact with the devil, meaning... 
She went to them because she had a film with them and nobody was talking to her and said, okay, I'll get rid of Kim. You'll do this. We'll do this. And we'll get, fr we'll be friends on the show for the cameras. And I believe that to this day, Teresa resents them for that. And that's why when she found Louie and she's like, I don't need them. I have my husband. I have my daughters. Screw them. You know what I mean? And you can't blame her because they yeah. turned on her yeah. or whatever. So I believe yeah. that it was then, then with me and even then with you, it was a pact that they made together. And I believe it was, I believe they never liked each other, Jacqueline. They never liked uh, each other. Yeah. There's no question about it. They're, they never liked each other. So I mean, Ter Teresa was respectful to Melissa as far as whenever she had a party, like even on camera, like her housewarming party, yes. her daughter's christening. There were different, every party that was a family party, Melissa and Joe were always invited. They were always right. there. Did they love each other? I mean, you know. Yeah. It was cordial. You never felt it. You you never felt the love. Because Kim's convinced they never liked each other. No. I honestly didn't really hear much about Melissa until they were coming on the show. And Teresa found out a week before filming mm -hmm. that Melissa had to do the show. And I was on the phone with her the night before the christening too, telling her, what do you care? Take the money. I would say, let, yep. let them stick the camera up your ass. What do you care? Take yeah, the money. St. Jacqueline was like saying not... the same thing. Well, yeah. what you're both, I mean, what you're both saying is like, you were living your lives. Like Melissa was and is good at the show. So it was, you know what I mean? Like you, Jacqueline, like what you're saying, yeah. same with you, Kim, like, it took you a minute to figure out like, oh, wait, this isn't like what you see is not what you get. Like, that's what these girls do. They play the game off camera and come and have their agenda on camera. And if right, you're just a real, real honest on. person, you don't realize it. And you're like, oh, wait, how much of like, what really do you- Like I always told, wait, wait. I always told Teresa and I always told Melissa to fake it on camera for them, for their family's sake. I always said, listen, fake it till you make it. Don't fight with right. each other on camera. Yeah, you, know? you did. You, you always told yeah. them that. I always push them to be friendly on camera and not to bring the drama on the camera. And right. what would they say when you said that to each of them? Well, Teresa tried that. You know, when Teresa, the night before the christening, when obviously she was angry at them for joining the show behind her back. So she was angry, but she still, if you watch, she went up to them and tried to pretend yeah. like everything was fine on camera, put her arms around them. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. How's it going? They're the ones, if they came on, like Melissa said, we're not coming on to come after Teresa. We have no ill intentions towards Teresa. Then why the very first scene when Teresa tried to pretend like everything was fine, you call her out and be like, oh, why are you talking to us now? Right. Like, started this whole big fight and then bring up all these issues on camera. If you weren't going to bring it up on camera, you would have just been, thank you for the opportunity. That's you right. Showing your own shit. Why, why then didn't they just pretend with Teresa like things were fine? Do you think... Do you think they came on like Melissa and Joe, like that first scene, like we saw what the table flip did and we want our own table flip moment? Of course, they always wanted to be famous. They act toward the cameras. They act for the cameras. They're very aware of the cameras.